Africa, one of the finest food items you can find, particularly in Durban, which is where I spent a sizable amount of my time, is a dish called bunny chow. The shortened version of what a bunny chow actually is, is quite simply, it is a hollowed out loaf of bread or half loaf of bread, depending on your appetite, um, that is smothered full of yummy curry. But one of the accompaniments that come with this particular delicacy is a salad item called sambal. So I'm going to try and assemble some sambals here purely from memory. You assemble some chilies, <coughs> onion, tomato. These are the basic ingredients of sambal. The essence here, the basic idea is to keep things very small, very tight. That's how a sambal assembles its cell. Next, chop up a few chilies. I don't think we want to overdo the chilies though, because chilies can be pretty damn fiery. Mix it all up with the tomatoes. Assembled complete without plenty of onions. Chopped very smile finely as well. Think along the basic geometry of squares. Get them all into a, a bowl and mix it all up. And the critical issue here, beyond this point, is to add a dollop, add a dollop of vinegar. The uh, chili in there. Put it all together. Definitely wants a bit more chili just to add a bit of colour and diversity to the equation. Grab a pinch of salt. Sample sorted. All you need to do then is boil some potatoes to give your curry a slightly African feeling. And then you prepare your curry in the most simple, cost-effective, timely way. Hello, is that the Bengal Tiger on Shields Road? Could I, could I order a lamb tikka madras, please? That's all I want. No, no, because I'm, I've got a plan with it, I just need the curry. You weren't expecting me to make a fucking curry from scratch, were you? Are you fucking off your nut? I don't know how to make fucking curry. Do I look like my name's fucking curry? Do I? Fuck off. It's going to cost me a grand total of six pound sixty, six pound sixty for non geordies And since they're charging me one pound for delivery, I'm sad to be not very kind. But I'm only able to facilitate a uh, tip of 25 pence. I hope the man doesn't spend it all at once. Well, to my astonishment, the curry has arrived. The only issue really is have they shortchanged me on bits of meat? Hmm, let's have a look. How many bits of meat have we got here? Cheers to our men. I'm just going to give these potatoes a quick whiz in the microwave. Minging microwave, I won't even let you have a look in there. Give it a bit of a whisk and a whirl. Because in South Africa people cook with potatoes in their curries. The tiny feature of a bunny chow is the hollowed out loaf. In Durban you can have a half bunny, quarter bunny, sort of semi halfish bunny will do me. <coughs> Next stage is we need to hollow out all of this. We hollow it out. Okay, that's a hollow cavity. Then really, what a bunny involves, believe it or not, is popping your curry. I just taste this. Mm, it's good. Into the hollowed out loaf. Mind you, I probably should have made a quarter bunny on the basis of how much content is going in here. And by the way, no self-respecting Durbanite would make a curry of this kind. They would basically do a Durban style curry. But since I don't have the ingredients for that, Madras is pretty hot. As the samples go on top of that. All right. first bunny I've had in fucking years and I'm actually looking forward to it. It might not be a true Durban curry but it's better than nothing. And if you took it in a shop that's how it would be delivered to you. That's exactly how it would be delivered to you. And the art of the bunny of course is that you don't use knives and forks you eat with your hands. 
And it's quite literally a case of eating it. Bunny is the word, like fucking hell. It's been too long. Far too long. Since I ate a good old fashioned bunny. Mmm, baby. I'm liking this bunny a lot. Experiencing here, and at a certain point, you just take the whole thing up and you go mental with it. Mm. There's no self-respecting Durbanite who has not experienced the orgiastic pleasure that I'm experiencing here. Oh, it's hot. Mm. Too much. Mm. Mm. Very messy. Very earthy experience. Fucking brilliant. 